Horace the Hook, adapted by Clovis Black from a Scottish folktale, read by Clovis Black. Once, during a time of terrible famine, there was a notorious highwayman named Horace Christie. He was better known as Horace the Hook because he and his men would pull travelers from their horses with hooks on poles. Since you can't eat money, the outlaws would then kill, cook, and eat their victims. Times eventually got more prosperous, and Horace the Hook became nothing more than a boogeyman. Mothers warned their children to stay away from a river with a deadly undertow, saying that Horace lived close to it. The children themselves would whisper his name to each other, then squeal in delighted fear. There was one house in which Horace the Hook was never mentioned. The father there was a pious man who insisted that to use the name of the outlaw for warnings or amusement was to disrespect all of the people he had killed. The man's wife and two daughters complied willingly, since he was kind and loving. In fact, everyone in the village in which he lived was fond of him. He generously shared his great wealth with the less fortunate and always saw the best in everyone. When the man took ill in his old age, he gathered his wife and daughters around his bed. For a long time, I have wanted to tell you something, my dears. I have a brother, and his name is Ian. He lives in a village not too far from here. When I am gone, I would like you to go meet him. The three women were shocked. Why are you only telling us of this now, asked the wife. Our daughters might have grown up knowing their uncle. The old man grimaced, more from emotional pain than the physical sort. Before I met you, I changed my name. Our real family name is Christy. That did explain much. The last name of Christy was a burden that was nearly unbearable. The younger daughter spoke up. Father, please assure us that your brother is not, you know, the man whose name we are not allowed to say. The father shook his head. He is not my brother. Your uncle was born with the name Ian Christie and still has it to this day. He was too stubborn to change it. The old woman wanted to believe the man she loved, but doubts nagged at her. The day after the discussion, she went to the local church and looked in the book in which records of birth were kept. She saw that her husband had two brothers, Ian and Horace. That night, the three women again went to the man's sickbed. Please be honest, for we must know, said the wife while tears rolled down her cheeks. I have been to the church and know the names of your brothers. We will not hold you responsible for what your relative did. Is Horace the Hook your brother? The man shook his head violently, as if trying to wake from a nightmare. No, no, I swear to you. I do have a brother who ran away when we were both children. And his name is Horace Christie. He is not, however, the murderous highwayman. The older daughter asked, Father, if you haven't seen your brother since you were a child, how do you know he did not grow up to become Horace the Hook? Again the man shook his head. I know it for a fact, my loves, but please do not make me tell you how. The wife said, Tell us, how can you be so sure? Because I am Horace the Hook.